Hi guys, this is Nick Kim. I'm living in Sydney, Australia, working as a DJ and marketing manager of the small club Eddie Proof. Also DJ the uh, Panda Fridays. Sometimes I DJ Massive Saturdays as well. Um, I've been in the industry for six, seven years. I uh, started in my career in 2011. And since then, I'm working as a marketing DJ of this club. One of my job is hiring DJs and make a roster for the weekend, you know, make a timetable, who's playing what time, things like that. Or so replying all these Facebook messages of the club page. Um, a lot of time people ask me, me, I want to be a DJ, I want to be a club DJ, you know, how, where should I start it, what should I learn? Um, I've been asked this so many times and sometimes it's friends, sometimes it's random people and uh, what they ask is some, something really basic. When you search on the Google or YouTube how to be a DJ, all these videos on YouTube tells you how to use a CDJ. They didn't talk about the relationship with the uh, club promoters or club non-stop or club managers. Um, using a CDJ, controlling the CDJ, beat matching, those are step one. What I'm going to tell you today is probably step two. How to build up the relationship with the club, you know, staff and managers. Get an actual job, you know, you play it in the club, not your just bedroom for, forever. So today I'm going to give you three tips to be a club DJ. I'm not gonna say once you've done these three tips you can be a club DJ 100%. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying this is my personal experience, this is what I think. I, I give you a personal tip. So just watch it and then if it helps you, that's good, if it's not, I'm sorry, but this is my, my experience. Tip number one, don't just ask. People on Facebook, often they just message me and ask, hey Nick, I wanna be a DJ. So, they just tell me what they want, but they also have to tell me what they can do for the club. Let's just say you, have, you are the club promoter or manager, and uh, you can choose one of two DJs. First DJ play good average music. I mean, second DJ plays average music, but he has uh, 20 friends coming in every Friday, Saturday consistently. So if you are a manager, you're gonna choose the uh, second DJ if you're not stupid because it helps the business. It, it makes the uh, club looks a bit more busier. Even those 20 people makes huge difference at the beginning of the night. So I tell you, don't just ask on Facebook. You also have to tell them what you can do for them. Sometimes some DJ ask me, hey Nick, uh, if you let me DJ, I can make some promo video for you. I'll bring my videographer. So he will film my uh, club geek. He will film your crowd. He will film your club. Then following week, I'm going to upload a video on um, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. So he will, he, those people promise me that will promote the club as well, not just promoting their DJ branding. These small things, you know, makes different. It's better, it's way better than you just tell them, hey Nick, I want to DJ in your club. So, so you have to tell them what you can do for them. It can be, uh, as I said, videograph or bringing friends. You might have your birthday party at your favorite club, and this can be the uh, your huge opportunity. This is my personal experience as well. I've done it um, when I first DJ at the Marquis Sydney. I knew who's organizing. I knew who's running. So I messaged him. Hey, look, if you let me play, I can bring 30 people, 40 people to your party. It will help your business, and um, I really want to play. If you haven't done the DJ lineup yet, please let me know. I've done this, and um, they let me play. It's one of my good mate now. His name is Andrew. Paula, DJ Paula. This is how I uh, first played the uh, Marquis Sydney, one of the good clubs in Sydney. I mean, I've done this myself and it was working. So I bring my wife, I bring my brother, I bring my wife's friend, my brother's friend, my friend, my co workers. I bring them to the uh, event because I wanted to help the promoter. If I help them, if I make them happy, that will give me second opportunity, not just one off. So remember, Tell them what you can do, don't just ask. Tip number two, be a customer first. A lot of people messaging you on my club page, they don't know what we are playing, they don't know what customers look like, they don't know, they've never been to venue, they're just asking on Facebook. 
but when you wanna when you really wanna play in the club you have to set up one target be there every Friday or every Saturday um, analyze the club listen what they playing at 9 o'clock listen what they playing at 10 o'clock listen what they playing at 11 or 12 and 1 o'clock stay until they close so just be there every weekend and then listen what they playing you analyze it when you get home you prepare their similar set not too different with the uh, what club played that last night also when you're going to the one club which you want to be a DJ you just keep going every week you just you know pay the entry buy some drinks and then look around who's here who's that you can be friend with the security you can be friend with the manager so don't just ask at first visit just keep going there like at least i say four times four times on uh, one month you're going to one club you keep going you find you analyze the club you look around and find the manager say hi to him every visit ask his name and then tell him your name but again don't ask for the dj gig just keep visiting, keep saying hi, and then build up the relationship first. Then you ask, you know, it's way better than, hey, uh, who's the manager? I'm looking for a DJ job here. And then if you're looking for a DJ, let me know. Then leave your phone number or email. That's not gonna work. Pretty much all the clubs have a resident DJs. They're very careful when they hire new DJs. If you don't know them, they don't know you. So you have to start a relationship with the manager or the club promoters first. I just ask their name, buy them drinks. You know, this is my, this is what I usually do. When I, when I try to make a new friend, I always buy their drink first in the club. Actually, even you coming to same club every week, if you don't spend much, um, those promoters and managers they don't really care about you. They don't really remember you. But you keep buying the drinks. You, you offer them drinks. Manage, like managers can't drink, of course. But promoters, you can ask them for a drink. Hey, uh, do you want a drink? I'll buy you a drink. As a customer asking to who runs the club, it's a very common thing, it's not a weird. So you can you can free to ask, you know? You ask for them drink, um, buy them drink. While you're having drink with them, you have a this chance to talk to them for like two minutes, three minutes. They're not too busy. And uh, once you get to know them well, like ask their Facebook, ask their Instagram, follow them and um, talk to them during the week as well. Like when he uploaded something, you just comment them, like them, and they build up the relationship. It's just like being a guy looking for a girlfriend, the girl looking for a boyfriend. It's the same thing, you know, you build up the relationship first, then you ask for a DJ gig. You can make your DJ mix CD and you can give it to the promoter. They might throw away, but they might listen. You increase your chance by giving them a CD. I often getting DJ demo CD, I never throw away, I listen to all the CDs. Sometimes I don't like it, I just don't call them. When I like it, I give them a call and I book them. There's uh, one of my friends, Jay, you know, Jay popped into my workplace during the week when I was cleaning the bar and he popped in when I wasn't busy. He was very lucky, he handed me out his uh, DJ CD and I listen at home or I listen next day. I really liked it and I actually hired him. But since then we become friends and um, we've been working together at Airpro about 3-4 years until he go back to Thailand. So yeah, there's a case, uh, many people getting a job, DJ job by uh, handing, handing out the CD. But make sure when you visit the venue, present yourself well, like dress up well and um, yeah, you know. So that's uh, tip number two. Team number three, you have to impress them. I often hire DJs at other club. When I go to other club, like where I'm not working, I just, I just visiting friends or uh, going out with the friends and go to some club and DJ play really impressive music, you know, like something I never heard. But I can see crowd enjoying the music. Obviously, I don't know this DJ. So I ask his name and Facebook and basic information. So when I come back to office, I search them on the uh, Facebook or I see their Facebook uh, where they play uh, previously where they uh, usually play these days and I, I'm deciding should I hire them or not not hire them I'm telling you whenever you play if, you, if you're a club DJ already but if you wanna play more clubs right the same week you have to do your best at your every gig because you never know when the other club promoters coming in to your gig and they're listening so you gotta do your best at every gig you have so you, you can expand more you know your career 
also impress them meaning you come to club gigs earlier than um, you start of course like let's say your set is 11 to 12 o'clock I personally think you should come to club by 10 p.m. so you listen what the previous DJ play so you get ready between 10 to 11 get some drinks uh, chill out and then relax for one hour and then see the crowd what they like which set they like it's, it's good research, you know, if you come to club one hour early or two hours is even better if you're not too busy on the night. So get into the club as early as you can, you know, then real analyze the club before you start. All these things, you impress the uh, promoters in the club. You impress someone higher you. Many customers complain this club play the uh, same song three times, four times per night. That's because DJ didn't come in early and didn't prepare. They put all DJs coming into the club one hour before their gig and then listen what the previous DJ play. That's not gonna happen. We're not gonna play the same music you know, every night. So if you're a new DJ, be in the club as early as you can. Also, don't ever say you don't need the money. A lot of people ask me for a DJ job and they say, ah, oh, you don't need to pay me. Uh, just let me play in your club on Friday, Saturday. Opening time is fine, blah, blah, blah. But when I listen, they don't need a DJ pay. It sounds like you decrease your value. But let's say if you're ready and if you're a good DJ, you deserve the DJ pay. The club promoters should pay you. Your music is worth it, right? So you should get paid and don't ever say uh, you don't need money. You need the money, I need the money. Everyone needs money, come on, be honest. People might look down. You know, beginner DJs, we don't need to pay. One day, every club promoters will think like that, but we you know, really bad. So I'm not saying ask for big money, but just get a money. Even if it's your trial set, as long as it's not an interview. Interview you have no customer. Of course, you don't get paid. Even you play 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that makes sense. But when you actually play in the club, at the opening time or closing time, whatever, and there is customer five people, ten people, you should get paid. Even you play for 30 minutes, just ask for money. Be a professional. Thanks for watching guys, so those are the strip tips from me, um, my personal experience and um, I hope you'll be the uh, club DJ sometime very soon, thank you.